Hi right, guys, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I've been busy, a lot of stuff going on in my life, but I'm back and I'm today I'm going to do Soap Kit. And this was inspired for me to do by Nerdy Crafter. This is to you, Nerdy. Alright, let's open this and see what we get. We get oops, we get soap mold. We get what looks like to be a giant bar of clear soap. We get this is how you use tools, right? Get what looks like to be colorants we get blast off blue universe yellow and plasma pink 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 plasma pink English number one and then we get glitters which I may or may not use because glitter goes everywhere Soap. Let me get heart molds for, I guess, little soaps. And then we get. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. And I, don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is for. And then we get, apparently get a. Color your world poster. Uh, and if y'all want to pause and read that, y'all can. So, bye. And then we get an instruction manual. And of course, if y'all know Nerdy Crafter, she has an allergic reaction to. Include everything you need. I'll be the judge of that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to... Let's see. First step, it says... White soap, clear soap, see... Yeah. Have your heart mold ready. So these molds. Squeeze two to three drops of coloring of the heart cell. Do not put in three drops of coloring for added sparkle, sprinkle, glitter, and pack it. Next, you will select your soap base use, so I imagine this. Cut up the soap into four pieces, place them in a microwave, cup safe bowl. Microwave, not included. Obviously, you can't fit a microwave in a box this big. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go melt the soap and cut it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, hi everyone. Before this starts to harden, I did melt it. I almost chopped my finger off, so I'm just gonna do blue for the first mold before it starts to harden, which it's fairly doing quickly. So I'm just pouring in the molds. 
I should have put the colorant in there. So three drops. Probably should have been more prepared for this, but let's do this. Yellow. Two, three. Just make this as fast as possible before the soap hardens. It's kind of, you know what, I'm just going to mix it with this. Because it's hardening fairly quickly. That one's too late. Yeah, you got to be really fast with these things. So they, because they do dry extremely fast. A little bit of contamination, but there's only so much you can do. So there is soap left, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pour it into this soap mold. Which I just have burning soap on my finger. Ow, ow. And we're just going to take the these colors and just drop it in there. Take this thing and stir it around. And yeah. While those sit for 30 minutes when I show y'all the results and take care of my problem here, which these do harden fairly quickly, so I'm just going to let those, these sit for about 30 minutes, and I'm just going to go take care of my burning finger so I'll see you guys in 30 minutes alright so it didn't even take 30 minutes for these molds to harden as you can see let's see if rainbow soap is worth well I got this on sale for four dollars so I guess we'll just go by that price cuz I don't know the price this was before it went on sale but we'll just go with it if it's four dollars worth so let's see let's pop out the soap harder than it looks to pop out it's, how hard is it to pop out some soap come on and I have a feeling I'm going to ruin it if I use a tool so we're just gonna do our best story right, there we go so here's the leftover soap mold, and I guess you could wash this out and use it as a continuous mold, even though it's a little bit warped now, but here's the soap. I obviously didn't do it right. I put in the colorant on top, but even with the colorant being on top, it still shines through at the bottom, so we'll test the soap out in a minute, but let's pop out the hard soap, and obviously I didn't pour it evenly that was on my part because they don't give you well we'll talk about that in a minute but I had to use microwave safe way bowl and even then there you can still there's there's still soap left but it hardened so it was useless so let's pop these out and then review the soap well that's kind of cute so there's that one pop out this oh that's not that's kind of uh, so far let's just continue popping out these molds and it didn't even take 30 minutes to mold or mold to harden so so far this one is the only nice one that turned out because I didn't add any color because I didn't do it right but even the ones with the colorants are not the prettiest because if you see on the package they look completely they're fully colored in the back well in the back they are but not the front and 
even here it shows that they are evenly distributed and I used a tool to stir. So, I mean, it's four dollars if you don't, I mean, it looks kind of pretty with the layered soap. I mean, this one obviously being the prettiest, which I may not even use this one. I may save it just for cute little soap mold. But let's go take these and test them out with this one. As you can see, it's, it's, uh, ooh, it's working like soap, but as you can see, the red right here is staining. It's literally staining. And it's contaminating with other soap. So, Let's see if this is working or not. So the big question is, is rainbow soaps worth your money? For one, it says everything you need. And granted, I can understand they don't have a microwave bowl, which they could. They don't have a knife, like a little plastic knife to cut the soap with. Uh... Because here it shows it looks like you get a little pour container and a knife. That did not come in here. And another thing is... Uh, well... Well, let's see. They didn't include everything we needed. But I was able to find a bowl, pour the mold and everything. And once again... The dye, these dyes, they do stain. And it comes with glitter, which I didn't use because it, glitter is not good for the environment. So, but they do give you a big thing of soap. I mean, this thing is about almost the size of my head. They do give you another soap that's this size. So... I guess if you want to keep your kids entertained, it's a little staining, but if you don't mind a little mess, then for $4, a little activity like this took me about half an hour, so if you're trying to have something for them to do for half an hour and you don't mind a little bit of staining, then I'd say $4 is worth your cash. Keep it sexy.